Hey y'all, editing Lauren here. I just wanted to pop in before this clip plays. It's about nine minutes long of me chit-chatting about my weight loss progress so far. I kind of go through the steps that I've taken to get where I am and things I've changed over the last few months, which is awesome. But I remember this day I had a lot of frustration. I was feeling kind of down on myself. I was probably PMSing a little bit. Um, and I definitely let my raw emotions show. I think in some parts I seem a little mad. I seem a little angry. I'm cutting, coming off kind of abrasive. Um, and I, I really don't ever have footage like that. Like it's not that I cut it out. I just I never really, if I'm feeling that way, I don't film. But I I remember this day I filmed this multiple times because I just felt like I wanted to share and be real and raw, which is what I always try to do on my channel, but I don't do as much chit-chatting anymore, and so this feels weird to post. But if you don't want to hear me go on a rant about the way that my arms look and needing to up my steps and needing to do more because my wedding is coming, uh, go ahead and skip to like the nine minute mark. I did want to kind of preface that um because i'm i'm going in on myself a little bit and it just that's how it is some days so i wanted to leave it in and just show you like it's not all rainbows and butterflies over here either i definitely have my days but i wanted to i wanted to share that with you so i'm gonna let myself be vulnerable share this footage and then we'll jump in there's a trader joe's haul lots of good content in this video but just felt like that needed a disclaimer hey y'all so i just got off the treadmill um, it's Saturday, May 25th right now, and I just have had a little bit of an epiphany. I've got to get more steps in. I think that's like the one thing that's holding me back. I'm still losing weight on the scale, but it's slowed down quite a bit. And I, I just know that it's because sure I'm watching what I'm eating. I'm hitting my calorie deficit. I'm hitting my protein most days. Um, I'm getting in strength training. I've been really consistent about that but I'm not getting in enough steps and I just, I need more. I think my body just needs to do more. So um, I kind of started this whole, you know, bride body journey, whatever we're gonna call it, bridal glow up with focusing on the overeating situation that I had going on there for a bit. I was just eating to excess constantly, um, eating when I wasn't hungry, overeating, when I, like eating way past my point of full, eating because Morgan was eating, getting seconds because Morgan was getting seconds. Like I was just obsessed with the food, but I started with that. And you know, that was just, it was just the first thing I focused on. It was like, I can't make progress if I don't tackle this issue. So I worked really hard on that. I feel really confident with, um, how much I'm eating now, my portion control, it's gotten so much easier now that it's been several months. Um, and even when we get little treats and stuff, I don't overindulge in them. Um, and it's been, it's been fabulous. So I'm really proud of myself for that. The second thing I did was really get consistent with the gym. I've never been good at being a consistent, you know, someone that's consistently in the gym, someone that's consistently getting activity, movement, all of that. It's always been the thing that I struggle with the most. Um, so that was the second thing that I focused on and I feel like I'm slaying. I have been in the gym y'all three days a week, every single week. Mo okay, I had like a sit, there was like maybe three weeks that I haven't been over since like February, um, even January. I was still in the gym a lot in January. So I, I would say January, February, I was really building up to getting that three a week and making that consistent. And then March, April, May, I feel like I've done a really good job minus like the week I was sick of getting in at least three workouts. Sometimes it's up to five, sometimes it's four. A lot of the weeks it's still three. Um, so I am trying to up that activity as well um, and get in like one more workout. If it's, you know, my usual is three, I'm trying to aim for four. Still working on that, but feel a lot more confident. I've noticed changes in the gym, changes in my muscles. Um, things are getting easier, I'm moving up in weight. It's, you know, I mean easier so that I can move up in weight and then it's hard again, right? So it's been really good. The thing I need to focus on now that I feel like I have those two things under my belt is getting in more steps. Um, 100%, I'm literally so lazy. Like, I'm so lazy. I just want to sit on the couch. At work, I have a walking treadmill that I invested in and I did great the first couple of months. I've used it one time since January 1st and it's May and I spent like $250 on that thing to not use it all year. Like, mm, okay, we're not made of money. We can't afford that. We can't afford to invest in things like that and then not even choose to use it. It's stupid. And 
Think about how much progress I could have made if I was just walking 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, while I'm working between January to May. Let's just imagine all of the lost progress that could have been had. Rest in peace. Um, but I'm ready to just kick my own ass. Like we have to do it. I really kind of had a, I don't know what you would call it, realization, whatever, minty bee about my arms. Um, I just, I don't like them. I don't need compliments and I don't need, oh, they look fine. I know how I feel about them. I know how I perceive them. And honestly, the way that I pre perceive my body is the only opinion that matters. So I don't mean that to come off rude. I feel like that kind of sounded edgy, but uh, no one has commented on my arms. It's just how I feel. Um, but I just don't want a bunch of like, you know, pity comments. I'm fine with my body. I'm a confident person. I just don't like the way that they look. It's always been a struggle for me. It's definitely where I carry a lot of weight. It's like the last place I lose the weight. It's frustrating. I don't know. This is how, this is where my mind goes. Regardless of all that, I just really want to focus on upping my game. So I upped my game with the eating. I've upped my game with getting into strength training and now I'm going to up my game and start getting in those steps. I want to do an hour of intentional walking a day, whether that's 30 minutes in the morning, 30 at night, 15 minute intervals while I'm at work, um, on my walking treadmill, 30 and 30, 60 all at once, whatever it is, I just want to aim for an hour of walking every single day. And I couldn't tell you the last time I worked on an hour, the last time I worked out on a Saturday, it's been a long time. And yes, I'm using 60 minutes on the treadmill as a workout. To me, it is every other Saturday and Sunday of my life. I sit on the couch and I do literally nothing. So that's a big change for me and I'm happy about it, excited about it, need to keep up with it. So that's kind of the third thing that I'm working on right now is just upping my daily movement and activity. Um, I know I should get, I have a step tracking watch. I just don't like it. I don't like I don't like the step thing. It annoys me. I feel like I'm constantly, it's all I can think about it. It gets in my head and I don't like it. I just don't. So it's not my thing, but what I can do is walk for an hour and any, any walking that I'm doing now intentionally is leaps and bounds above what I've been doing. So I feel like that in itself will be plenty. It doesn't matter if I'm getting seven or 10,000. It just matters that I'm getting 60 more minutes a day than I've been getting for the last 31 years of my life. So I am looking forward to it. I'm excited. I'll take you all on my journey, try to uh, pop in as much as I can with y'all and stay accountable with that. But I got my workout in today. Yay. Got my little steps in. I'm going to walk again tomorrow. We have a crawfish boil tomorrow that's like hosted by some friends for their birthday. So that'll be fun. I think we're going over there around like noon or one. So I'll get up. I'll get my 60 minutes in. We'll get ready for the day and it'll be so fun. And I just know that I can do it. It's not hard. I just have to be intentional about it. So that's kind of where I'm at. I wanted to pop in, give y'all an update. I'm about 10 pounds down since the first week of March. Um, I wish it was a little bit more, but 10 pounds in two months, I have to remember is a lot. Like I, I do feel really, um, really happy with that. I was gonna pull up my little scale app here so we can take a look, see. <clears throat> let's see the list. I just learned how to do this. Okay. So let's scroll back to March on March 1st. Well, let's use March 4th because that I think was actually the day. Either one. I was 181 in both March 1st. I was 181.1 March 4th. I was 181.5. So that's where I began. I ended March at 177.3. I ended April at 175, so only two pounds in April. And <clears throat> currently I'm at 171.8. So I'm pretty much at the 10 pound mark. That was yesterday, 171. Um, one thing I can't figure out about this is it constantly tells me that I'm only like half a pound down. And I'm like, I'm literally like, what is happening? Like, why isn't it registering? It's still saying seven pounds, but like, it's, it's literally 10. It's like, doesn't know how to calculate, whatever. Um, I'm about 10 pounds down, feeling really happy with that. Excited to lose 10 more maybe before the wedding, hopefully. And yeah, just get steps in, 
look better, feel better. I just want to feel so, so confident on my wedding day and I will not let these pythons hold me back. So we're getting in our steps. We're getting in more movement. We're tracking our protein. We're eating in a calorie deficit. We're strength training to make sure we're maintaining and building new muscle. And that's where we're at. I'm gonna go shower, but I thought we'd hang out this weekend. I think I'm gonna go try a new salad place today while I'm out bopping around doing some errands. And I'll probably head over to my parents' house. My mom wanted help decorating some like cabinet thing that she got or that she moved, something like that. So I'm gonna go hang out with them for a little bit while Morgan is golfing. And then we'll probably meet back here for dinner. So let's go. I don't know why I'm wearing my sunglasses. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to leave the house. It's 4.32, took a shower, just threw my hair up in a clip. I'm wearing this little red dress from Target. It's like almost a maxi dress, um, but kind of like almost, I don't know, midi, maxi, whatever. It's from Target like two years ago. I love it. Um, I'm having a really bad body image day, which is really unusual for me. I usually like, even if I feel some type of way, like I try on 87 outfits and don't like how I look in any of them, it never really feels like it's making me sad or anything. Like I just kind of am like, well that sucks. And I like go on about my day. But something about today, like, I don't know, I'm just feeling really off. Um, I am about to start my period. So that probably has something to do with it. But yeah, I had on like 17 different outfits when before I was like just throw on something you know that you love which honestly I did throw on a few things that I always love and I just like I don't know I couldn't get myself to walk out of the house in it it was weird um but yeah I threw this on and I decided this is it I do feel cute in this so I'm gonna wear this out I'm like not even really doing anything I was gonna go to that salad place um but it's already kind of late in the day and I want to do dinner with Morgan so I think I'm just gonna do a smoothie um, and I want to try that place when I'm like really hungry, not when I'm just eating because it's lunchtime, you know? So I am wanting a little bit of something to like fuel me until dinner. So I think I'm going to get a Smoothie King. I've been obsessed with the Blueberry Heaven. That's like my favorite one. Um, so I'll probably get the small one of those and I might run into Target. I have a couple things that I need. I'm debating Target or Walmart. I just don't really want to drive over to Walmart. Target's way more convenient. So... We'll see where we end up, do a little um, errands. Uh, they shouldn't take long. And then I'm going to go over to my parents' house and hang out with them for a little while while Morgan finishes up. And I think we're going to meet back here. So that's the plan. I'm going to grab my phone and I already filled up my water. Probably going to order my Smoothie King when I get in the car, so it'll be ready when I get there. And we'll start getting our errands done. Hey y'all, so I am about to leave my parents' house. I did have a smoothie, forgot to show you, sorry, but I got the 20 ounce Blueberry Heaven from Smoothie King. They, on the website, it says it's 260 calories. It's delicious, I love it. Um, and then I ran into HEB, which is just like local Texas grocery store, and got a couple of things, so I'll show you that. We needed some more body wash. I've been really liking the Dove antibacterial um although it says protects skin from dryness no this makes your skin very dry but i've adopted a double wash routine and i saw this tiktok about hygiene and the girl was like i never wash with just like smell good body wash she's like i use an antibacterial wash and then she does a second wash with like a smell good and she's like i just feel like cleaner and I, I don't know, it stuck with me. So this is our second bottle. Morgan likes it too. It does dry you out though. So I like to follow up with like a, you know, nourishing body wash and then, you know, put on lotion after. But I've been using the Bioderma. I'll have to show y'all. Bioderma, they have it at Costco right now. Um, they have it on Amazon too. I can like link it just so you can see what I'm talking about. But if you have Costco, check there because it's very inexpensive. Um, but it looks like an oil. It's a huge bottle like this. It looks like an oil, but it lathers like a body wash and it is very nourishing. I'm never like a lotion person. Like if I'm dry, I'll wear it. But other than on my hands, I don't like the feel of lotion and I just feel like my skin doesn't really like need it very often. Um, and that oil, like, yes, it just gives me, it makes me feel like I did put on lotion, but it doesn't feel like, it's not oily, if that makes sense. Anyways, so I got that. I got some press on nails that I'm going to try. We'll see, but I just got white because they didn't have any good colors. When I'm going to this thing tomorrow, my nails look like crap. 
they're breaking. I need to start taking something for them, but it's Morgan. Hello? Hey, baby. Um... Hey. Okay, um, <clears throat> but I need to start taking something to make them stronger. I saw a nail strengthener that I want to try that you like actually put on your nails, but I haven't bought it yet. So I just thought, I keep seeing people doing the press-ons. I just want to see what it's about. So I got those to hopefully wear for tomorrow. Um, I got a new mascara. This is L'Oreal Panorama. I don't know. It kind of looks like new and improved telescopic, which is one of my favorites. So I'm hoping that I love it. It looks like it has the like plastic bristle thing, like the brush. And I really like the plastic ones. I just feel like they work the best on my lashes. Um, I also picked up another item I saw on TikTok. Um, it's a hair filler and bonding treatment. You put it in before you wash, let it sit for five minutes, rinse it out, and then shampoo, condition, do all your normal stuff after that. Um, but I heard good things. And a girl who was talking about repairing her hair, she's like, you know, I started taking vitamins to help from the root, but like new hair growth. But she was like, the only thing that really fixed the bottom of my hair was adding in a bonding treatment. And she recommended this one or the L'Oreal as far as... Um, like affordable options go. So I did pick that up. I'll let you know once I use it if I like it. Okay, I'm gonna do the haul in waves. This is just stuff I wanna get put in the freezer. I did go a little crazy with the snacks and the sweets, but I got the hold the cones. Morgan loves these. They're like mini ice cream cones. This is my go-to, the ice cream bonbons. They're so good. One at the end of the night, they're 60 calories. They really curb my sweet tooth. So good or fix it. These are new, I think, Japanese souffle cheesecakes. There's two of them. I just thought that would be so fun to have with Morgan. We both love cheesecake. I did get the pinks and whites. These are honestly kind of expensive. This box was like $4.50, which I feel like is kind of crazy. But just these little spring cookies. Um, I got a cold press juice. I just have not been feeling that good. So get some extra vitamins and minerals there. And then I did get two of these little immunity shots. I've always just felt like these don't do anything, but I don't know. Today, we're going to give it a go. Vitamin D and zinc. Um, and then also these are new for summer organic freezer pops. So they're just like popsicles. You get 10. I want to say this was $3.50 or $3.99. That's what they look like. 30 calories per piece. Um, but yeah, you just throw them in the freezer. So that thought would be fun to try. Okay, this is our like lunch and dinner stuff. So we have some steak. I wanna do steak sandwiches. So I got some ciabatta rolls and some arugula. Um, this might go on the steak sandwiches, Monterey Jack cheese, but I actually picked up this for this recipe my friend sent me. She calls it roadkill. It's basically like you form burgers and season the beef, um, cook them on the stove. You do like mushroom, onion, I'm skipping the onion. Top it with cheese, serve it with potatoes. So that's what that's for. I wanted to try the beef bulgogi. My friend said it's really good. I've seen people do tacos out of this, but you could also just serve it with rice and do like a bowl. This is in the um, frozen section. Hutchison, get out of the bag, please. Thank you, sir. Um, that's in the frozen section. I got some cabbage for that if we do tacos or bowls um, and I might, figure out what else I can do with this or just freeze the leftovers. Um, for breakfast, I'm gonna do breakfast bowls. I have some potatoes but I and eggs, but I did pick up some egg whites. Um, I got the, this is the first time I've seen these, the chicken breakfast sausage patties. So looking forward to this. This is in the frozen section by the breakfast potatoes and the waffles. Um, two patties for 140 calories, 13 protein. So I think that's pretty good. And before I found those, I actually picked up the fully cooked bacon. Um, I really like this for an easy breakfast option. Throw on a sandwich, whatever. Um, two, or no, I'm sorry, three slices, 100 calories, seven protein. So got those as well. Then for lunches, I'm gonna do chicken and rice bowls. I got some salsas. This one's really for Morgan to use um, for whatever, but I got the salsa verde for that. I might use this on my breakfast bowls also, egg, potato, and protein. I got some pico, light sour cream, a lime. I think that's it for breakfast and dinner stuff. And this is the last of everything I got. I forgot to show the peppers that I got for the lunch taco bowls. So I just got a green and an orange one. Um, pretzel Slims, I love these. So to go with that, I picked up the spinach kale Greek yogurt dip. I This might seem weird, but I want to mix this with some tuna and see if that would be, you know, kind of add protein to the snack. Also got some low-fat cottage cheese, one of my favorite snacks. 
pick up some light string cheese. This is 60 calories, eight protein, so pretty good macros. Chicken taquitos, I think we're gonna have these for Sunday, um, just like snacky food. We always make something like pretty simple on Sunday, so I thought we'd pick up those. We were just talking about chicken taquitos that we used to eat as a kid the other day, so I thought that would be fun. These I should have put with the dessert stuff, but they got left at the bottom. Blueberry lemon hand pies. I thought that would be like a fun thing for me and Morgan to try. And then I also keep seeing this, decided to pick it up, the vitamin C firming body butter with glycolic acid. So we'll see. 